Hey guys, Mr. Happy here with my overview on one of the latest reveals for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn coming right out of the E3 live letter. We finally got to hear about the first class and first job being added to the game since its relaunch, Rogue and Ninja. Now there are still people with a lot of questions, but this video is going to do its best to explain what we know about these so far. It's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So first, let's talk about Rogue. Now for those of you who don't know, Rogue is a new base class that is being added into the game. Similar to how Gladiator is the class for Paladin, Thaumaturge is a class for Black Mage, and Pugilist is a class for Monk. It is most likely going to be situated in Limsa Lominsa based on the description that was given on the official Lodestone post about the E3 news, as well as some lore implications that we know about now. Now for those of you wondering the role that it will fill, it will be a melee DPS class, and it's going to focus on a few things that aren't really in the game right now. Now it is going to be dual wielding knives and daggers as its primary type of weapon, but a lot of people were concerned that they may need to get two item level whatever weapons whenever they're going into the binding coil of Bahamut, and it's actually going to work similar to monk fists where your main hand weapon will just be a pair of daggers, similar to how monk's main hand weapon is a pair of fist weapons. You are not going to need to equip a dagger in the main hand and the offhand. Personally, I feel like there's some customization lost there, but nothing lost, nothing gained, I guess. Now again, they are going to have some unique things that the other classes don't have, and there were a few things they mentioned that, well, sounded familiar to me as an avid MMO player. For example, rogues are going to have more movement speed compared to the other classes. Now, they failed to mention if this was a passive amount of movement speed, or if it's going to work very similarly to the way that Sprint does just with a rogue-specific ability that increases movement speed. One of those things we'll just have to wait and see. Another thing is that they are going to have reduced fall damage. I would assume this is through a passive ability, but again, you just never know. We just know that they will have a way to reduce the amount of fall damage that they take. Now, the big thing with them is the ability to apply poisons to their blades. They will be able to go into what's seems to be stances that look very similar to Fist of Earth, Wind, and Fire that Monk has, just based on the animation for actually applying the poison to your daggers. Now, different poisons will have different effects, so we can assume that they will have some PvE uses and PvP uses, but only time will tell again, guys. All we know is poison tip blades are going to be a very crucial part of the rogue's damage. And finally, one of the things that people have been asking for the most is that it will make use of stealth with a variety of abilities that can only be activated while the rogue is in stealth. Now, this is something that obviously has dimensions that are both in PvE and PvP, and Yoshi P is really looking to flush both aspects of these out. So, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how a PvE class makes use of stealth, especially in long, drawn-out battles such as the Binding Coil of Bahamut. Now, one last note that despite the emphasis on movement speed, you know, the fact that they will be getting extra of it, Yoshi P stated that it is not as positionally dependent as the monk job, which is nice for players that are looking for something that's more of just straight damage on their enemies and more about flashy moves and hitting really quick and applying high damage over time, which is something that I feel that the rogue will do very well with its poison tip daggers. But that for now, that's all we know about the basic rogue class. Now, the other thing that was revealed was Ninja, which is the job that is going to branch off of Rogue. Now, other than Rogue being the primary subclass that you need, we don't know what the secondary classes are going to be, as well as the other class that's going to be required to unlock it. Most people are assuming Pugilist will be the other class that you need, the one that needs to be level 15 in order to unlock it, as well as Rogue at 30. And on top of that, a lot of people are guessing that either Lancer or Thaumaturge could potentially be the other, the secondary class that you pull your abilities from. If it's a physical DPS, I'm putting my money on Lancer, but now we're into speculation territory, so let's just back up a little bit. Now the ninja, just as with rogue, will be a melee DPS, and they are still going to make use of most of the rogue's abilities, such as their dual wielding, their increased movement speed, their fall damage reduction, their poisons, and their stealth mechanics. Now, of course, Ninja is going to be adding its own abilities on top of its already inherited rogue abilities, and the main one is actually the ability to perform ninjutsu. Now, ninjutsu doesn't work like traditional magics, where you pull it down from a list, put it on your ability bar, and bam, you just cast it all the time. You actually have to perform what are known as mudras, or ninja hand seals, if you will, or ninja hand signs, whatever you want to call them. Using these, ninjas will be able to perform a variety of ninjutsu. Again, it's not as simple as put the mudra that you want on your action bar and press it when you want to cast a spell. You actually have to perform these mudras in certain combinations in order to release a successful ninjutsu to spell. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what if I don't put them in the right order? Well, you'll actually fail the mudra. The mudra won't have any use at all, and you will not cast any ninjutsu at the end of the effect. So, while that may not be as 
technically movement based as maybe the monk is it will ha still have its own unique form of difficulty managing your mudras making sure you're using them in an efficient way so it should make for an interesting gameplay dynamic on top of that you still have some additional physical abilities that are non ninjutsu based that you will be able to work with one of the big ones as you can see in this screenshot provided by square enix is jumping on the head of the opponent now you might be looking at this and thinking no they just made this because it's art. But in the video with Rogan Ninja, you can actually see the ability in action. So hopefully you like jumping on the heads of your enemies and stabbing them ferociously. And currently, that's all we know about the Rogue and the Ninja, but I'm already looking excited for it. Again, if you didn't watch my E3 recap, my overview, my thoughts, and you're wondering when are we getting Rogue and Ninja, Rogue and Ninja are currently slated for patch 2.4 of Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn. For a frame of time, I'd expect that in the next four months so hopefully you're looking forward to those dps cues because everybody's going to be playing rogue and ninja those of you watching this wondering oh but when are we going to get more tanks and more healers i said this in my e3 recap as well but tanks and healers are going to be withheld until the expansion which they said they'd like to do an expansion every year and a half so considering that the game launched in last August, I guess we can expect something around January or February of 2015, but no official word on that yet. So take that information with a grain of salt. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of the Rogue class and the Ninja job. Are you excited? Are you going to be picking up? Are you going to be raiding with it? Whatever you're going to be doing, let me know. And also let me know what classes and jobs you'd like to see in the expansion. Tanks or healers are preferred just for the sake of, well, come on dps cues we hate them but anyway guys be sure to like favorite subscribe and share share this video with all of your final fantasy 14 friends and of course follow me on facebook twitter and twitch where i do live stream and post regular news updates but anyway guys thank you for watching and until next time take care